In the midst of this extremely important election cycle, state lawmakers are working to make sure everybody has a seat at the table. Now they're focusing on the Asian American Pacific Islander community, creating the first formal legislative AAPI caucus. Now, advocates say this is a step in the right direction for issues that matter to the community. Atlanta News First reporter Yasmina Alston has the story. It's a first in Georgia. Lawmakers creating a formal legislative Asian American Pacific Islander caucus. One of the main reasons why Asian Americans voicing they don't feel seen or heard. According to a press release from state officials, the bipartisan AAPI caucus will be made up of AAPI members of the Georgia House and Senate, 12 founding members and 11 voting members for the 2023 legislative session. From a policy perspective is that this legislature, uh, sorry, this caucus rather can focus now on doing several things that I think is going to um, be very favorable for the community going forward. Varun Nikor with the AAPI Victory Alliance agrees this caucus will help increase representation within the government and help bring the community's main concerns to light. Of course, with the terrible, um, you know, murders last year in Atlanta at the spot and the spa shootings, um, I would imagine that um, uh, gun violence prevention is going to be foremost uh, on their list. Nikor says the formation of such a caucus can also have indirect impacts on voter turnout. As a growing community, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are Georgia's fastest growing ethnic group, according to the 2020 U.S. Census. Nikor says this caucus can strengthen the voice of others as well. This caucus will most likely work with uh, the other similar um, uh, ethnic caucuses in the uh, uh, in the legislature as well, the Black Caucus, the Latino Caucus. And according to that press release from state officials, Georgia will have the most AAPI state legislators of any state legislature in the country. In Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.